Good morning everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I am on my way to the doctor. Um, I have like literally three appointments in one and um, I have to do an ultrasound, my glucose test, and my second glucose test, and um, a regular doctor's appointment. I am now currently 28 weeks and two days. Um, but yeah, I am running a little late, but I just wanted to take you guys with me. And let's go. You were close, forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, la da 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 oh oh, la da da da. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles on the tree. And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me Alright guys, so my appointments are over I did have a ultrasound first And she is growing very, very well She said she is uh, 2 pounds and 7 ounces And she is spot on where she has to be for 28 weeks um, She, Her heart rate is good um, her face was in my back, so we couldn't see her face, and we really didn't get good shots for her, um, you know, for the pictures that she gave me. But um, yeah, she's doing really, really good. The ultrasound went well. It was shorter than normal because usually we can't get what we're supposed to get, so I have to go back in after my doctor's appointment. But um, yeah, she's doing really, really good. She's growing well. I'm measuring spot on and everything like that. So then I did the glucose test. I had to get stuck five times, twice, three times in my left arm, once in my right arm, and then they finally got me in my hand. Ugh, that is the worst pain ever. Um, but at least I don't have to do it again. I don't have to come back. Sorry guys. I don't have to come back or anything like that. Um, but yeah, and then I had my regular doctor's appointment, which was, um, pretty good everything was good they listened to the, her heart rate again on the doppler and it was really really good and then um we discussed getting my tubes tied um during my c-section and because i am delivering in a catholic hospital they do not allow it so i'm like a little disappointed but at the same time I'm like okay we just want to have to sacrifice some things and figure it out um, my doctor did say if you really want to do it you can you know try to find another provider that will you know do it at their hospital but because I've been with them for going on what now going on 13 years I'm like I'm not about to do that 10 weeks before she gets here and um, I'm uncomfortable. I'm comfortable with this practice and I'm just not comfortable with trying to find someone else. So we're going to just have to have a conversation and figure out what we can and can't do. Um, it's ideal because of my weight, but I do plan on losing weight afterwards. So if I have to go on birth control just to kind of prevent it for now, I will do so. So that's pretty much it guys. Oh, and I wanted to tell you that we were going to try to attempt to do i wanted to tell you guys that um we were going to try to do vlogmas this year but i'm like we literally are home pretty much six days out of the week like it would be so so boring so what we decided to do like we tried to last last year is vlogmas weekend we do have some uh things planned where we could still social distance and uh be safe but still have fun as a family um there's like the sesame place um christmas thing there's the they have a new drive-through christmas thing right now 
Um, there's the Christmas lights at Peddler Village. There's a lot that we can do um, to still stay safe and social distance. So more than likely we'll have a Vlogmas weekend. So stay tuned for all of that and all the updates for the pregnancy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very short video and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.